Unit 4 Living Things Chapter 7 Plant World Learning Objective The Root System Types of Roots Importance of Roots The Shoot System Just like our body has many parts in the same way plants have many parts. Stem, leaves, buds, flowers and fruits grow above the soil and form the shoot system. The part of the plant under the soil forms the root system. The root system. The roots look like long ropes spread out under the soil. They hold the plant firmly to the soil and help the plant to stand straight. They also help the plant to absorb water and minerals from the soil. Some roots store extra food and are eaten by us. For example, carrot, radish, beetroot, etc. There are two types of roots, taproot and fibrous roots. In forbids, the roots of mangrove trees grow upward and come out of the soil to breathe. Taproot A taproot has a thick center and grows down straight. Small hair-like roots grow from the sides of a taproot. Most tall trees have an extremely well-developed taproot system. Mustard Carrot, pea, radish, sunflower and bean plants have a tap root. Teacher's Notes Tell the students about the different types of plants and their various parts. Explain to the students about the root and shoot system of plants and their functions. Fibrous Root A fibrous root consists of many small roots which branch out from the base of the stem. It does not go very deep into the soil. Fibrous roots branch sideways holding soil particles together. Grass, wheat and rice plants have fibrous roots. Types of Roots 1. Aerial Roots Big trees like banyan have numerous roots that grow downwards from the branches. They are called aerial roots. They center the soil and form secondary root or prop root. These roots give support to the heavy branches of the banyan tree. 2. Water Storing Roots Water storing roots store water, making it easier for plants to survive long in dry summer months, that is, goat and pumpkin. 3. Food Storage Roots Plants like carrot, radish, beetroot and turnip store food for the plant in their roots. We eat these roots as vegetables. 4. Propagating roots. Such roots have birds close to the surface of the ground. These birds can grow into new independent plants as in the case of cherry and strawberry plants. In forbids, during drought and famine, when there is scarcity of food, people dig out roots from the dry soil and eat them. Importance of Roots Roots play a very important role in the growth of a plant. Roots hold the plant firmly to the soil. Thus, even when a strong wind blows, the plants do not get uprooted. Roots absorb water and minerals from the soil and send them to different parts of the plants. Heavy rain and a strong wind wash or blow away the top soil. This is called soil erosion. Roots bind the soil and prevent soil erosion. Many human activities adversely affect the roots of plants. Activities like construction cause lot of damage to the roots of the trees planted on the roadsides. The shoot system. The shoot system includes all those parts of a plant that grow above the ground. Stem, leaves and flowers form the shoot system of a plant. All these parts carry out different functions and helps the plants in different ways. The stem. The stem transports water, minerals and food to different parts of a plant. The stem keeps the plant straight and bear leaves, flowers and fruits. Leaves Leaves are called the food factories of plants. They prepare the food for the plant in the presence of sunlight, air, water and chlorophyll. This process is called photosynthesis. We eat leaves of many plants such as the spinach, lettuce, cabbage etc green leafy vegetables are good for our health summary a plant has many parts 
stem, leaves, buds, flowers and fruit grow above the soil and form the shoot system. Roots grow below the soil and form the root system. There are two types of roots, tap root and fibrous root. Roots play a very important role in the growth of the plant. Exercise A. Tick the correct option. A. Which of these has aerial roots? Beetroot, pumpkin, banyan. Answer Banyan. B. Which of these has a fibrous root? Bean, grass, turnip. Answer Grass. C. Which of these has a tap root system? B. Carrot, both. Answer Both. D. It stores food as a root. Carrot, tomato, leaves. Answer Carrot. B. Fill in the blanks with suitable word given below. A. The dash look like long ropes spread out under the soil. Answer Root. B. Dash are called the food factories for plants. Answer Leaves. C. A dash has a thick center and grows down straight. Answer Tap root. D. Roots bind the soil and prevent dash. Answer Soil erosion. E. The dash keeps the plant straight. Answer Stem. C. Answer the following question in short. A. What is root system? Answer. The part of the plant under the soil forms the root system. B. Who prepares the food for the plants? Answer. Leaves prepare the food for the plants in the presence of sunlight, air, water and chlorophyll. C. What is soil erosion? Answer. Heavy rain and strong winds wash or blow away from the top soil away. This is called soil erosion. D. What is photosynthesis? Answer. Plants make food in the presence of sunlight, water, air and chlorophyll is called photosynthesis. E. What are aerial roots? Answer. Big trees like banyan have numerous roots that grow downward from the branches. They are called aerial roots. D. Answer the following questions. A. What is shoot system? Answer. The shoot system includes all those parts of a plant that grow above the ground. B. What is a tap root? Answer. A tap root has a thick center and grows down straight. Tap roots can be found in mustard, carrot and pea. C. What is a fibrous root? Answer. A fibrous root consists of many small roots which branch out from the base of the stem. D. What are aerial roots? Answer. Big trees like banyan have numerous roots that grow downward from the branches. They are called aerial roots. E. What are the functions of a stem? Answer. The stem transports water, minerals and food to different parts of a plant. The stem keeps the plant straight and bear leaves, flowers and fruits. F. What are the functions of roots? Answer. The roots help the plants to absorb water and minerals from the soil. It holds the plant firmly to the soil and helps the plant stand straight. A. Keep potted plants in the class. Water them when the soil dries up. Talk about the varying amount of water that different plants need. Name four plants that need more water.